Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today's lesson is on the midpoint formula. Midpoint formula is when, hold on to your horses here, this is crazy, you find the midpoint of a line. Mind blown, I know. Now, when you look at this, when we say midpoint of a line, okay, and eh, technically that's not true. It's midpoint of a line segment. Because if you know in your geometry class, lines go forever, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still gonna see it written as midpoint of a line. In the more traditional sense, like when us normal people are talking about lines in our daily life, we're not really talking about lines that go on forever. So midpoint formula is Take an example, let's see, here's the point four, five, and I have the point down here, one, one, and if I were to connect those two by a line, a segment, what are the coordinates of the midpoint? Now, if I'm just eyeballing it, it's gonna be right about, thanks, white, Oh wow, whiteboard's pitching a hissy today. I would say it's right about there. But eyeballing it doesn't cut it in algebra, so we need to find the formula. Now, if you Google this and you go online, this is what you're likely to see. It's going to look, oh, come on. <laughs> Pull it up exactly so I'm giving you an accurate representation of what you'll see either like on Google or in your math book. And like many things in math, this one's going to look a little strange. And I totally understand when students see things like this and their eyes kind of glaze over and they're like, what is going on? Too many things that I don't you know, know what's happening here. I promise this is super, super easy. So this is the midpoint formula. It is, I promise, I'm not trying to, to trick you or anything. It is way easier than this formula makes it look. All right, so let's look at this line. Let's just look at it without looking at the, the crazy kind of scary formula. Let's just zoom in and look at this line. If I wanted to find the midpoint of this, let's see, here is, if I was looking at, if I were to draw two vertical lines, what would be halfway between those lines? This is three spaces, right? So what would be halfway between those lines? Well, something about one and a half spaces, right? One and a half, not about, it would be one and a half spaces, three spaces in between. So one and a half would be midpoint, the midway between those lines. All right. Oh no, <laughs> I was just trying. <laughs> I was just trying to erase the highlights. All right, so then what if, come on, different color. Okay, what if I was saying, what's halfway between these two lines? Well, that's one, two, three, four spaces. So halfway between there would be two. So it'd be a line right about there. Now, where those two lines intersect is going to be the midpoint because it's halfway in between the X's and it's halfway in between the Y's. And I know I didn't draw my line precisely. It should be like right there. Yeah, I drew my line a little off, but right there is the midpoint. So it was halfway between the X's and halfway between the Y's. That's the midpoint. Well, how do you find what's halfway in between them? The way you find that midpoint in between two numbers is you average them. So if I were to average four and one, I would add them together, which would give me five. And then there's two numbers that are being averaged together. So I'm gonna divide five by two. And that gives me two and a half. And looky there, that is where X is two and a half. Cause I'm just using the grid that's in the background. So this is two and a half. And what about my y's, one and five? Well, if I average them together, one plus five 
is six and there's two numbers being averaged, so I'm gonna divide by two, and six divided by two is three. One, two, three, and sure enough, that's the other one. So that's all we did. We averaged the x's and then we averaged the y's and that gives us the midpoint. It's what's halfway in between those numbers. And this kind of scary looking formula, that's all it's saying to do. So step by step, this right here, xm means midpoint x value. That's all that m stands for is the x of the midpoint. And this ym means the y of the midpoint. That's it, it doesn't mean to do anything, the x, you know, xm, not xm radio, that m is just a name, essentially. It's saying the x, that's from the midpoint. This m means the y, that's from the midpoint. Same thing over here. The ones and the twos, those aren't telling you to do anything with that x. It's not like, you know, if we have a two up here, x squared, that means do something. Multiply this x by itself. These ones and twos, when they're down low, they're called subscripts. Subscripts here, they're just naming the x's. So this is saying the x from the first point plus the x from the second point divided by two. Over here, the y from the first point plus the y from the second point divided by two. And it doesn't matter which point you label as the first point or the second point. It's not gonna make a difference because as you'll see here, let's say I labeled this one one as my first point and four five as my second point, then it would be one plus four divided by two and one plus five divided by two, which would give me 2.5 and three. And if I change that and I said, oh no, 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 I don't like this one being second and this one being first. Clearly this one should be first and this one should be second. Same difference, four plus one divided by two, five plus one divided by two, you still get 2.5 and three. Now, the cool thing about this is that it works regardless of where the points are. So even if you have points that are in some of the other quadrants, quadrant is the name that we give to the four areas. Come on, zero, there we go. It's the four areas in this graph. You know, we're dividing it into four areas. So these are, you know, these are our four quadrants. It doesn't matter where the points are. For example, let's pick a point over here. This is negative two, I'm sorry, negative three, excuse me. Negative three, positive two. And let's say we're going down over here to one, negative three. And I draw a line between, I go, okay. Let's see if I can get this more precise this time. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty precise. What's the midpoint? We're going to do the same process. We're going to add the x's together and divide by two, and that's gonna be our first coordinate. And then for the second coordinate, the y, we're going to add the y's together and divide by two. So for our x's, negative three plus one is negative two. Negative two divided by two is negative one. The other one, two plus negative three is negative one. Negative one divided by two is negative 0.5 or negative one half. So let's look over here and see, all right, negative one and negative one half right there. There's our midpoint, it works. Quick update, uh, very shortly, very soon, something to look forward to, I'm going to be having some math merch available. Of course it's math merch. What else would it be? It's a math channel. But anyway, yeah, I could really shake things up and go outside the box, but I'm not going to. This is all math related. So there's going to be a lot of cool things on there. Look forward to that. I will have updates soon. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. 
Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.